hello guys, good evening. So, another series of tutorials here. Usually, this is intended for student, right? So, this is uh, a simple program, uh, coding, coding exam, <laughs> coding exam in C sharp. So, actually, I, I just uh, uh, for this one, this is a bubble charting. So, it's meant to say that we are going to search the number. So actually in C there is already built in that you can just say that search like that. But for for the benefit or for the examination for the how you I mean you have to create it by not using the existing library of C sharp, okay? So and then we have to to illustrate how we are going to do it uh, by ourselves. No? Actually, there are lots of C sharp functionality that all can search already. Okay, so yeah, uh, what we did here first is that we we create an an array, an array, an integer of array of number to search. So we just populate it with the numbers here. Okay, that is in a bracket. So that is what we call the list of uh, item that we are going to search. So you can add it. And we have a variable temporary. This is for swapping purposes. Let's just set it to zero for now. Okay, so uh, first that we need to do is we are going to have an outer for loop. So this is the the loop that uh, the first loop, outer for loop that will uh, loop your uh, numbers, the list of numbers. This is numbers. Uh, Numbers to search, okay. Numbers to search, and I is lesser than number to search, so this is going to have the get the length from it. And yeah, so this is the outer for loop. Outer for loop. Now, uh, to compare, we have we have to have the inner for loop to swap or comparison. That is our let's say, for example, this is. Yeah, uh, this is x. I love to use the variable x, x, i, and x. So, why is not changing? Huh? Integer x, and we should get the value of the outer for loop i, which is 0. So, we put it initialize our initial value for inner loop to i. Okay, and our x would be. Laser done? No, no. Uh, I think we can have this. X is laser done the uh, number to search that length. Yeah, number to search that that length is greater than. And we can just see X plus plus. Plus this one, this should be. This one by one, so x zero plus one as well start to one, and the value of i should be zero. So, and this is the inner for loop. So, we need to check here. We check the check the lizard done, this lizard number, lizard number, and swap. So, if condition if number number to search and that will be an array of the number outer for loop which is i okay so it's greater than it's meant to say i zero for instance is greater than uh, the number to search uh, index value of x value of x is 0 plus 1 all right so the first inner loop is 0 plus 1 if if that is lesser than so you can see that for instance i is 0 is lesser than the x which is natural value is 0 plus 1 so it's goes right so nothing to swap all right so uh, we have the temp, so 
if this condition is true, so we have to uh, put the put in a temporary variable the number to sort to x. So yeah, uh, if, if, if this is true, we put the number the x value to the temporary variable okay temporary variable and then we can say that we can set the number to search x value value is equals to the number to search the value of y okay and then because I will put it to the number x value to so, so number x to search i i now will be the temporary variable so this is a swapping technique okay this is a swapping technique so basically uh, if this condition is true it's meant to say that mm, the number in i is greater than the number in x so so because we cannot put it directly because the variable or the value will, would not be changed so we have a temporary variable to hold first the number in our inner for loop it's a and then after that the outer for loop or the inner for loop x will be will have the value of the outer for loop number is i and then this i will have the value of temporary okay. so we just swap it and after that uh, if it's done the inner for loop you can just simply write and so that red line the now the this is now the sort the sort value so the sort value so that would be the number to search of course the value of i because we already swapped it so the the number to search i is now the value of temporary temp right so let's have to console that red line here so we can start we'll debug so you can see it how it goes so this is .NET 7 and also C Sharp 11 so when we debug you can see that our number to search at now and a list of numbers so the index start with 0 so the zero index there for like that okay so with outer loop we loop the number length this length is 13 and um, the initial value of i for the uh, the initial value of our variable i for the outer for loop is zero so in the inner for loop uh, the value of x will be i plus one so it's meant to say one and if it's lesser than the number length, then it will just x plus plus. And then inside, we will check if this number to search i, 0 is greater than, greater than the number 1. So 0 is greater than 1. Often, uh, okay, value of 0 is 10 and the value of 1 is 4. So this is, yeah, we are getting the value here, not the value of the variable, but the value of the value of here in the list. So that is why you can see that value of num source index index 
0 is 10 and the value of index uh, this is 1 index of 1 is 4 so it's meant to say that uh, I number search 10 is greater than 4 so it's, it's true the condition is true so we put the variable uh, number to search value of x x this is the number 4 so yeah team number 4 and then this this value number search x x uh, which is this would be the value of x is 1 and uh, yeah this is 4 we'll put now the value of y so this would be the 10 now 10 okay so you can see here this is already uh, 10 you can see it it's already 10 so as you can see the value of the first index is 10 and the second index one is 10 <laughs> that is why we need to replace this the value of i this one with the value of our team which is 4 so you, you go here so now this one becomes okay so it's swap already so the index 0 becomes 4 and the index 1 becomes 10 so that is the swapping okay and then we go there further now the value is this is the index only not the value so this is 2 now so if you can see here uh, yeah the value of 2 is the index i2 so this is 10 uh, and the value of x2 is 50 so is 10 greater than 50 not so it will not swap so we'll go to the value of x which is now x is now 3 so if you take a look here uh, the 3 now the index 3 1 2 3 is 50 and is 50 greater than 60 which is the value of x here x now here is the value of x here is 3 so if you can see 3 3 here 1 2 3 60 so is 50 greater than 60 no so it will just go to the another low. so now x is 4 so x4 index is negative 59 and I mean the i is 4 and the x is the number here so this is okay so they're comparing this is the value of x i is 0 and x is 4 so your 4 here is negative 59 and your x here is 0 which is 4 so it's, it's 4 greater than negative 59 so it's not oh it's 4 4 and x and i is i is 0 so I don't know negative 59 is greater than What's wrong with this? Okay, I will just see. Also, this is negative 59. So, it means to say this is already 4. So, this is negative 59. And the value of i here is 0. So, it will be. This one is 
the value of x is small. This one is 15 minus. So, yeah. Negative 15 minus is closer than the 4. If the value of x is now 5, it should be 5. So, it's, I'm wrong with the first. The 5 here is negative 15. I know it. I negative 90. And your x would be uh, 5 plus, because this is already 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, so this is 6, so that is 400, so negative 3, negative 90 is bigger than 400, it's not, so it's will just, oh, huh? negative 90 is 3 third time. this guy so you can see here now so the laser one is negative 90 negative 59 1 4 5 6 7 8, 9. so yeah so that's how to sort that's how to sort guys so basically uh, for example uh, sometimes we we have confusion here because we cannot actually say uh, we cannot actually say what is the value of i and value of x so what i'm seeing here that it's it's just the index this is the the array so we supply the index so for instance uh, if, if you draw it carefully you can analyze it carefully also for instance in the first law i is zero so this is the supply of i zero so which is the value of i0 is 10, this one. And it's lesser than number to sort. Uh, this x, x here is i, which is 0 plus 1 is 1. So the index of x here, number source x is 1. So it's 10 uh, greater than 4. So true, see, greater than 4. 10 is greater than 4, true. So we put the temporal, the number, the this 10 to the temporary variable and this uh, number x is we swap it we will put the value of uh, i with this is already 10 so the term is 4 so we just swap it and this i we replace with the variable 10 so that's that's already at uh, at 10 then now so next slope because this is this is not done yet this will be done the inner for loop will be done after or will exit after it's already done here so it's meant to say um, your i is still zero um, and then the x now is x now x plus plus x plus plus so if this is one it will now become two uh, yeah <laughs> so we repeat now so i is zero this linear for loop so what I'm saying that uh, this inner for loop will have to be done before it's go to the outer for loop. So the number to search lane is 13 here. So it will loop 13 times. So 1. Then 2. But the condition is not, it's not correct. So it will not go the condition inside three not correct four 
Boris is swap, five, Boris is swap, six knot, seven knot, eight knot, nine knot, ten knot, eleven knot, twelve knot, then it's thirteen. So it's only swap if the condition is correct, is a uh, if the condition make the criteria. Right, so that is how we gonna sort from lowest to to highest. So if you are gonna sort from highest to lowest, so you are just going to define this one uh, to make it lesser than C. C. So now it's highest to lowest. Okay, so this is just the the condition that we are going to choose. No, it's the inner condition. Later than if you're going to swap or search lowest to highest, it will be lesser than if you're going to sort from highest to lowest. Okay. So that's the sorting, that's sorting guys, um, extra bonus here, we have a uh, uh, reverse a string here, so what I am using here is just, um, yeah, I input a string and then I use string builder is because it's immutable, so it's faster, so we just, uh, Look, the length minus 1, then i is greater than or equals 0, then we minus minus i, and that will be the value of i. So, if you can see here, this is the reverse string. This one, I make it a function here. So, this is a bubble sorting. I just... Extract the function, so it is a uh, uh, swap. swap numbers. So, just comment this. Okay. We will run the reverse a string, so from here. So, yeah. Uh, Then it should be in uh, reverse oscillate navy. Okay, so you an oscillate navy. Yeah, <laughs> so that is a reverse string. So basically, you just have to loop the source tr. This is your string that length minus one. Then if i is greater than or equals zero, you have to minus minus the string. So you are just passing the the uh, index, the index. So it's it's be that happen. So you can just you cannot use string builder, but string builder is uh, this is more faster because this is mm, immutable or mutable. Mutable it's because, uh, because if you just see it could be like this, uh, but this is this is reverse. Uh, it could be like this reverse is the R. This is also reverse is the R. Uh, source str then array it's, it will be okay as well if you do that but this is this is a string so it's not and using the string builder so let's say it didn't oh it's not reversing it are was
verses to learn. How people say, oh, I display in many verses to learn. University of Bali. So yeah, so either way you can use the string builder or not, but I prefer the string string builder because it's faster. Use the string builder. This is a new way how you create a new instant a uh, new instant of an object. The string builder. So usually before you can see that string builder is made because new new string builder like that if you initiate create an instant of an object but in that net, that net 7 and c sharp 11 you can just see it's really supposed to be that's what you find that is your pet yeah so that's it for today's demo i hope you learned guys and if you like for more for more tutorial more practical c sharp uh, exam and also I have lots of video there for uh, for uh, yeah uh, actual or actual project that we have so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you will be notified for upcoming tutorials and uh, live demonstration of our live project so happy learning guys click the like button and sir thank you bye bye